After reminiscing of back when I was a kid and my dad taking me with him to all kinds of motorcycling events, I would for this adventure pass on the family tradition by taking my son out for a day of motorcycling with dad. I'd choose to ride around the gorgeous hills of Topanga Canyon. It's a magical area just outside of Los Angeles and where nature meets canyon curves. And just to say a small thanks for all of those times I'm away on my moto adventures, I bought the missus a little gift so she could relax, take the day off and really put her feet up. Well I took our boy out for a day of canyon curves and pit stops. So after taking back my phone mount and then gearing up, we connected our helmet communication. And then on the bike, I strapped us together with a strong waist pack for some extra riding security. And then we were ready for a safe and fun day together on my well-ridden scrambler. First, take a gentle ride on the famous Route 27 to Panga Canyon Boulevard, which has recently been named as one of California's newest scenic highways, and it was the perfect ride to start the day. Our first of many quick pit stops will be at the hairdressers. We both needed a cut, so we called in and got a quick trim. Then it was gear up, get back on that bike, as we now rode off in search of food. Now Jim's Fallbrook Market is a long established family business that's been serving the San Fernando community with some of the best meat since 1951. So our next stop will be the meat counter and I'll let my boy pick our dinner. And without hesitation he picked the biggest T-bone steak. Oh that's my boy. Jim's son Mike weighed it in and that big slab of meat will be enjoyed later. Outside of Jim's and the barbecue was going strong as racks of mouth-watering ribs, tri-tip and chicken was on the big grill. We grabbed a few ribs for our lunch and my lad definitely gave his approval. Gearing up again and then it will be a quick ride through town as our next pit stop will be to get an ice cream. Hoping we hadn't overdone it with meat and dessert, our ride now will be in the beautiful Topanga Canyon. It was now time to ride up, get away from traffic and enjoy the twisty canyon roads.
After cresting the ridge and now getting a full view of the valley, we could now see for many miles, and we got our first glimpse of the ocean below. The wife got pampered and her nails fixed. We met up with a group of longboarders who were out grinding wheels, sliders and sometimes skin on the same canyon curves. We stopped for a quick chat and to get a closer look as these skaters looked like they were having so much fun flying down here. It was great to watch and learn more but as they walked up for another run we meandered further down and just enjoyed the ride. Towards the bottom of the canyon we were met by other bikers. But soon it will be the end of these corners as now the canyon curves end as we meet the Pacific Coast Highway and the gorgeous ocean waves. Now we will ride PCH. Ride into a drive through pick up some fries oh, that's cool. before heading to the beach for supper. Whatever the wife is up to, I hope she's relaxed and got her feet up as we'd had a great afternoon ride in the canyon and ending it on the sand was just brilliant. And as the waves lapped in and Gio got his feet wet, we had some fun on the beach as the sun lowered from the sky. But there was food to be made, so while Gio took off with his favourite motorbike book, I assembled the jet boil and started to cook. The T-bone steak and chips on the beach was a tasty and lavish ending, but nothing beats high fives, hugs and thumbs up from my little guy. 
to have been a fun day out riding and to share it with my son have made it extra special. So to all you bikers out there, the next time you gear up, maybe take someone with you and share the enjoyment and the ride.